All right, so I'm going to start with everybody's standard beginning image. And then let's just get rid of the background and make it into something we can easily print, like an 8.5 by 11. Let's also just go in and make this grayscale. Good. And print with I like to uh, use cardstock for quick stencils, but that printer won't use cardstock, so let's see about using a pouncing tool. I'm going to go ahead and use a nice, fresh XL blade. don't need to press too hard, a nice, fresh blade. I'm going to follow our lines that we made, just to make this stencil. And remember that you don't want to actually cut out the entire thing. Normally, I would cut the outline mask from a different piece but I'm trying this from the same piece to see how it works alright so we've got a Dan Glowforge Dan and we have an outline I will be using some uh, MTN 94, some Montana Black, and some old MTN Hardcore, and of course, face mask. Alright, so we're going to start by uh, spraying a color field. Many light coats is always better than one thick coat. You can see that the tip I'm using right now is already partly clogged. So it's already starting to come out a little bit of a uneven pattern. Paint's gonna dry for a while. That's a good time to play with your dog. Bring it out here. All right. We have our color field. Let's go ahead and lay our stencil mask down onto it. Let's also put on our spray mask. See, I'm just going really loose here. Not Pressing down, not worrying about underspray under the stencil because I kind of like the effect that it makes. All right, it's been about four minutes. You'll notice that I <clears throat> forgot to put on my respirator, and that I'm using very short little bursts of the spray, not holding the nozzle down at all. Dang, that 94 smells so good, I forgot to put my mask on. <clears throat> Bad me. Okay, at this point we have our basic image. So that gives us Super Dan on a color field. Now, since I cut everything from one piece, I don't actually have covering mask to do the speckled outline, which was the point of the video. So I grabbed another piece of cardstock, quick outline. We're just going to go ahead and cut this out. Now you can avoid all of this hand cutting, of course, by owning a Glowforge. Respirator on.
So you can see I am barely pressing down on the nozzle and having a slightly clogged nozzle cap or tip. We're talking about this thing here. Um, will definitely help out. This is a cap or a tip or a nozzle, depending on who you're talking to and where you're buying it. But that is how I make my spray-painted speckledy background things. Yay!